plaintiff, Champagne Thompson, says the defendant is her sister. And although she loves her, Champagne never thought she would punch her in the face and chase her with a baseball bat over $40. Champagne is suing her sister for car payments and the assault. Defendant Ebony Thompson says Champagne is a bully who is known for getting into fights. Ebony claims Champagne initiated the altercation and then pressed charges against Ebony while Ebony was seven months pregnant. Ebony's countersuing because she claims the stress caused her to go into early labor. Start with you. Okay, I love my sister very much. And over the years we've been through our up and downs, but I would never thought it would have been this far. I was punched in the face several times, chased with a baseball bat, over $40. Ebony is very determined. You all ever become physical with each other before? Yes, sir. How often? Once. It was only twice. You said, that so, you said that so quick, it sounds like it was a, it's a regular thing. It was while we was younger, but she was pregnant during this time. Okay, I'm she just trying to get pregnant. the history on your violent behavior yes. between you and your sister. And you yeah. say you all have been violent with each other uh, over the course of your childhood and adulthood? Yes, yeah, not too much in adult. Okay. You give me some background. Um, when it's my older sister, like, growing up, my older sister tries to bully me, you know what I'm saying? Use her weight against me and just try to get her away. If she doesn't get her away, then she throws a fit and it leads into a fight and they're arguing, which it shouldn't lead into because we're sisters, but that's where it leads to. But overall, we have a good relationship with each other. It's just that if she doesn't get her way, she feels that she has to be intimidating and bully to get her way. Does she fight outside of yes. you all? Yes. Okay. Is that true? Yes. Go ahead. She does too, though. She has a temper. Do you fight oh, yeah. outside I mean, of the Yes, two we both fight outside of All right. And tell me what happened in this instance. In this incident, um, I got my income taxes uh, February 2011, and I needed to purchase a car so I can keep my job and have reliable transportation. Ebony had purchased a second car and she was all willing to sell it to me for 2500 So I gave her $2,250 for the first payment and made agreements 2250 Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead. And I made agreements with her over the next two and a half weeks that I would pay her to remain the balance. Of Which was two fifty. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So the first payment, the first week came by, was fine. I gave her $150. So the remaining, remaining bottles was of $100. Right. So when I owed the $100, I um, told her the car broke down, so only I had was $60. So I gave her $60. So I said, I owe you $40. Can I pay it to you next week? And she said yeah. yes. So when the next week came, I had no money because I couldn't get to work, no nothing. So I borrowed money, and I told her I only had $40. And I said, I can't give you everything because I need to get to work. I'll give you 20 of this money, Ebony. I'm sure she was all right with all that. No, sir. What'd she say? Oh, she was angry. She cursed me out. She cussed me out on the phone, like, well, beat this and all this. I was like, I'm trying to give you $20. I don't have nothing but 40 I can't bring it to you, so you can come get this $20. So you were going to give another 20 Yeah. I was trying to give her something. She's my sister, so I was like, it right. shouldn't be that serious. And she went off on you. Oh, did she go and off? And then what happened from there? She punched me in my face. You see how long her arms is? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, but you look, I have to be honest, you look like you could pick her up and slam her. Yeah. <laughs> I got to get to her first. <laughs> I got little, the weight, she got the height. little skinny arms won't hurt you if they punch you. Uh, she got some skills. She got some skills. She got a little bit of skills. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. Y'all fight every week. <laughs> so you're right. Y'all probably boxers by now. Go ahead. No, it wasn't like how she said Yes, we had words, but that's not the reason why the altercation happened. Oh, okay. Over it Tell was me then. Because when I called and we was having words, she's like, oh, well, I don't have to give you the $40 because you still owe the previous owner who you bought the car off of. And then you didn't put this in it. And the car broke down anyway, so I'm not giving you nothing. That's how she said, like, you're not getting nothing. So that's when I got upset about it. Like, I'm not getting nothing. So I said, I will come over and remove the tax off the car because the car was still in my name. So that's what I did. I got in my car. I came over to take the plates off the car. I took the place off the car, walked into my mom's house. Soon I entered my mom's house, and she seen that I had them plates in my hand. She's mad. She got angry, jumped up, and charged at me. Okay, let me share something with you, because it sounds like she only owed $40 on a 
$1,500 debt. And contract law dictates that a person must have a material breach in order for it to serve as a breach of contract. It has to be significant. And $40 on a $2,500 debt it's not I think, significant. You know, I admit that I took the place off, but I probably I wasn't really gonna like take the place. But then she jumped <laughs> up and charged at me and tried to fight me. So then now I'm mad. Now I'm really like I'm not really about to let her, you know what I'm saying, keep the car because she jumped up and tried I'm seven months pregnant. She Been charged mad. at me. She made me go, I went in labor early. Okay, let's go into that because she's suing you for assault and emotional distress. Let's talk about give me the background on the assault. Assault was because she, when she came in the house, she we came both, to the house. We was mm -hmm. both upset. So when I stood up, she had the plates in her hand, and she was like, ah, da, 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 yelling at me like she do. And then next, she hits me. Like when she hits me, I want to hit her back because that's what we fight each other. Like it's okay. That's we're the all thing. Yeah. No problem. Nothing <laughs> unusual. Yeah, we're sisters. Let's do what we do. <laughs> Get it over with. So but she's Get it pregnant. over with. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, man. She's pregnant. I can't hear her. She's pregnant. Right. So I didn't think she was going to hit me either because she's pregnant. Good. But she hit me. So I really do want to fire her. So my mom told us, like, calm down, calm down. So we outside now. So we're outside. So she was like, you know what? I got something for you. She was like, you want to be big and bad? I got something for you. She goes to her trunk and pulls out a baseball bat. <laughs> she chased me around my mom's complex with the baseball bat. <laughs> Not true. And she ate, she's about seven, eight months pregnant. And I told her, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to press charges because you hit me. And what happened? And when I pressed charges, um, he was like, do you want to do domestic violence? Do you want to do mediation? I was like, no, because I'm angry. I want her to go to jail. And then the next morning, she came and took the car and sold it to the junkyard <laughs> because she found out she had a warrant. So that's why you're suing. You want your money back <laughs> yes, sir. for the car. Yeah. All right. And she was like, ah, da, 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 yelling at me like she do. And then next, she hits me. Like, when she hits me, I want to hit her back because that's what we fight each other. Like, it's okay. That's we're the all thing. Yeah. No problem. Nothing unusual. Yeah, we're sisters. Let's do what we do. <laughs> Get it over with. So, but she's Get it pregnant. over with. <laughs> Defendant Ebony Thompson is being sued by her sister, who claims Ebony punched her and chased her with a bat when Ebony was seven months pregnant. Ma'am, let me hear from you on the assault. Um, like she said, we both was angry. So when she seen them tagged in my hand, immediately she got even more on fire. She jumped up from my mom's kitchen table and charged at me. So I did swing. When I swung, I was protecting me and my unborn child. I didn't know, like you said, she could grab me or anything. So I was swinging to protect myself. In the midst of me swinging, I'm backing up. So like she's rushing me, so forced my way out the door. So when I got out the door, after we get outside, she charged at me with a Poe, a metal iron Poe. She's coming charging at me. So, yes, I went, popped turned, and I grabbed the bat. So okay. So, when you got to the car, she had the pole, but she said, go ahead and pop the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, like you can get the bat. She just gave you a little time. In the midst of that, it's get like, the bat. there's a lot of us. We get have a lot of brothers and sisters. So right. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Miss. You uncle. couldn't get your keys. She said, I'll wait. <laughs> no, my husband. Go ahead, man. My what? husband was already in the car. He was already sitting in the car. He never mm -hmm. got out the car. I made it to the car. I got the bat. So basically, we're arguing back for having rights. That's when they separated. I got my husband stopped, like, told me to get in the car. I got in the car. We pulled off. Once I get home, I'm getting a car from my dad saying, Your sister pressed charges on you for assault. I'm like, why? I didn't even touch her. So he like, I don't know, but you have warrants on you. I take myself down to Franklin County Jail to turn myself in. When I go to turn myself in, they're like, well, ma'am, you already dilated to five. So they turn me down. So I go to emergency labor. I have to get rushed to the hospital. I go to the hospital. I have to get emergency C-section. So I don't have, like, I can't go to jail pregnant with stitches in me and stuff like that. So I didn't have the money to pay for no lawyer. So because she owed me some money, and then press charge, and she charged at me. I thought she was wrong, and I don't owe her. I junked the car to pay for the lawyer. No, tell me what happened with the court case. How did it come out? You were um, acquitted. She pled guilty. I pled, I pled, pled guilty? Yes, to attempted assault. So why don't you think you should be responsible for what you pled guilty to? I didn't think it was going to be that serious, because at the time they said, oh, well, your sister wasn't injured. It wasn't no scars. It really wasn't that serious. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, that's what the prosecutor they both were saying. It was what like, did you get? I got um, a year of probation. You think you shouldn't have to pay for any of this? Yes, I do. I'm just curious on yeah. how people 
<laughs> yes. Uh, folks, mine go. <laughs> yeah. When I was a criminal, as a kid, I said, okay, if I get caught, I'm going to jail. <laughs> and I'm going to serve some time. And sure enough, a couple of those <laughs> times, that's just what happened. <laughs> I pled guilty and just yeah. say nine months. I didn't say, Your Honor, <laughs> why are you giving me nine months? <laughs> that's not how it goes. When you are guilty, whether you plead or or found guilty, you have to pay in some way or another. Right. Thank God they gave you probation, which is what most judges would have done. All right, and your counterclaim for emotional distress, how does she owe you? Um, because she charged at me, made me go to labor two months early with my son. I had an emergency C-section. And she put me in jail for something that she did to me. She charged at me and put me in harm and okay. jeopardized my unborn child. Did you tell the prosecutor this? Yes. Before you pled guilty? Yes. And they said what? Um, well, actually, they gave me, I had got like leeway. They lifted. Down there, you have to turn yourself in where you have domestic violence. The bottom assault. line, ma'am, is you were still Proof. found guilty. Right. I don't believe that story about she came at you with a, uh, a metal pole <laughs> and when you got to the trunk, she just suddenly said, well, let me just wait. I mean, she did. First, when you stopped, if she was coming at you to hit you with a pole, time you stopped at that trunk, she knew you were going to get something, she'd have started wearing you out. <laughs> so I don't believe that part, ma'am. Like you said, you have a history of engaging in violence. You can't engage in violence and think there's not going to be any ramification. Your claim is dismissed on this emotional distress. Yours is granted. Once again, you did not commit a material breach. Therefore, I'm going to grant you all your money and your assault because she was found guilty of assaulting you. 2960. Have a good day. Yours yeah. dismissed. Crazy. <laughs> I still love you. Well, that was the most scary. <laughs> you came with that pile. I didn't come with like, that pile. Yes, you did. Hit you. I had a rock, probably, not a pole, though. Right, so what? You still so you came still with something I still with your love scary. You, that's it. Whatever. That's it. That's it. Whatever. Well, I'm happy. That's why you God. still ain't got no goddamn car. I'm gonna get and my nails done. Whether it's down, forty dollars or whatever see? it is, now, so you still ain't got. Are you still, still rolling? I'll be riding my tourist when I get back home, mad? baby. Riding mad? my tourist. I'm gonna get one. See now yeah. the money that you took. I'm gonna get a car. See.